Kuching city is the state capital of Sarawak. It has a population of about half a million. It is one of the most livable cities in this region. The city has well-planned urban infrastructures, lush greenery and friendly residents. The World Health Organization has declared Kuching a healthy city. However, with the ever-increasing population, the rivers and waterways in the city have deteriorated. The city is in urgent need of a comprehensive wastewater management system to alleviate the pollution to our rivers and waterways. Until now, the black water generated from the toilets in the city is treated by individual septic tanks. This century-old method of treating black water brings with it a host of problems, such as inefficient treatment process, leakages due to cracks in the concrete septic tanks, and overflow due to the buildup of sludge in the tanks. The poorly treated black water is discharged into the drains and eventually into the Sarawak River. The grey water, generated from our kitchens and bathrooms, is directly discharged into our waterways without any treatment. This discharge has also been polluting our waterways. The state government could not allow this situation to continue. The government has approved, under the 9th Malaysia Plan, to commence the implementation of a modern wastewater management system for the city. The State Sewerage Services Department has been entrusted to implement this new sector of urban infrastructure. The government appointed a turnkey contractor, namely Kumpulan Nishimatsu Hokseng Li Consortium, for the first package of this project. This pilot project requires complex technological input in its design and construction. Kumpulan Construction Sindirian Berhad is a Sarawak-based construction company. It was established in 1983. The company has successfully undertaken numerous large-scale infrastructure projects throughout the state. Nishimatsu Construction Company Limited is a well-established construction company specializing in civil engineering. It was established in Japan in 1874. It has participated in many major projects, both in Japan and overseas. It is renowned for its construction technology, especially in the field of heavy civil engineering works. The company is reputed in technology transfer. Hoxeng Lee Burhan is a Sarawak-based company listed on the main board of Bursa Malaysia. It has accumulated over 30 years of experience in infrastructure works in the state. It has a strong management team to ensure reliability, cost-effectiveness and timely delivery of projects. This consortium has jointly undertaken many mega-projects in the state, such as Kuching Petrajaya Outdoor Stadium and the Kuching Sanari Deep Sea Port. The first package of the Kuching Wastewater Management System consists of the following three main components. Gravity Flow Sewer System Centralized Wastewater Treatment Plant Property Connections The sewer system covers five densely populated areas of the city, namely Area A, covering Patana, Hock Lee and MBKS Complex Area B covering the Grand Margarita, Hilton, Van Hock Central Road and Waterfront Main Bazaar. Area C, covering Reservoir Park, Tun Abang Haji Openg Road, Haji Taha Road and part of Sato and Rubber Road. Area D, covering Tun Ahmad Zaidi Road and Green Road. And Area E, covering the entire Sato commercial area before the Sato Bridge. In Area A, only large institutions and commercial complexes will be connected to the public sewer. In Areas B, C, D and E, all properties will be connected to the public sewer. 
The trunk sewer, with a capacity of 270,000 population equivalent, runs south under the Sarawak River from the centralized wastewater treatment plant towards the Punding area. The treatment plant is located next to the Zikon Toll Plaza. From the Punding area, the trunk sewer will head west along Dato Abang Abdul Rahim Road and Padungan Road before it turns into Central Road and thereafter Badrudin Road. The trunk sewer finally branches out at the end of Badrudin Road, south towards Saburkas Building and north towards the Sarawak River. At Padungan Roundabout, the trunk sewer branches off to a secondary sewer, which runs towards the Grand Margarita area. At Badrudin Tun Openg Junction, the trunk sewer also branches to a secondary sewer which runs northwards along Tun Abang Haji Openg Road. The secondary sewers are joined by a series of tertiary sewers that connect directly to individual properties. The secondary and tertiary sewers are designed to connect to properties of up to 67,000 population equivalent. The first package of the Kuching Wastewater Management System will have a total of 64.5 kilometers of sewer. This consists of 7.7 .7 kilometers of trunk sewer and 5.4 kilometers of secondary sewer and 51.4 kilometers of tertiary sewer. The diameter of the sewer shall range from 225 millimeters to 1,500 millimeters. The gravity flow sewer system that we adopted for this package eliminates the need for intermediate pump stations along the sewer route. The gravity flow sewers are installed starting from 6 meters below ground surface at one end and flow by gravity all the way to the centralized wastewater treatment plant. An inlet pump station is constructed in the treatment plant site to pump the sewage up from the depth of 27 meters to the ground level for treatment. The consortium proposed to use three construction methods for the sewer works, depending on the depth of the sewer and the soil condition. The slurry method is a trenchless method suitable for tunneling in the underlying rock layers. This method is especially efficient and cost-effective for tunneling at depth of greater than 6 meters. During the construction, there will be minimal disruption to traffic. The setup on site is relatively compact. It consists of a container, a generator set and a separation tank. The process involves the construction of a jacking shaft for the lowering of the tunnel boring machine TBM and the concrete sewer pipes at one end and a receiving shaft for the retrieval of the TBM on the other end. The TBM bores through the soil or rock guided by a laser piloting system. Power jet streams wash the soil or rock down the discharge line while a powerful pump lifts the board material to the surface and into the separation tank. The water will then be recycled in the tunneling process. Concrete sewer pipes are jacked into position as the TBM bores through the soil or rock. When all the concrete sewer pipes are installed in position, the jacking and receiving shafts are constructed to become permanent access shafts for future maintenance works. Upon completion of all the complex network of sewers, only the manhole covers on the surface will be visible. The Augering Method This trenchless pipe laying method will be applied for softer soil condition and for sewer depth of 2.5 meters to 6 meters. Similar to the slurry method, the construction activity takes place mainly underground with minimal disruption to the traffic above. Only partial road closure is required. The setup on site is also very compact, consisting of a container, power pack and pipe racks. The process involves the construction of a jacking shaft for lowering of the TBM and concrete sewer pipes as well as a receiving shaft for the retrieval of the TBM. A laser-guided piloting system is used to keep the tunneling in alignment. 
the auger train removes the soil from the tunnel and a spoil removal bucket transports the soil onto the surface for disposal. The concrete sewer pipes are then jacked into position. The open cut method. This method will be used for the laying of tertiary sewers which are less than 2.5 meters below ground. It involves the conventional trench excavation works and once the sewer pipes are laid in position, the trench will be backfilled and the surface will be reinstated. The centralized wastewater treatment plant for this package is designed to the capacity of 100,000 population equivalent. The plant shall treat the wastewater from the most densely populated area of the city. The effluent from this plant shall meet standard A of the environmental requirement. The effluent shall be discharged into the Sarawak River. The plant is located on a site of 10.9 hectares. It has sufficient land for future expansion of up to four modules, which will have a final capacity of 400,000 population equivalent. Under the first package, the treatment plant shall consist of guardhouse, operation building, generator house, SESCO substation, process plants. The process plants consist of inlet pump station, Headworks, activated sludge reactor, flow distribution chamber, secondary clarifiers, sludge dewatering thickening building, biofilter. The public sewer must be connected to the generating source of the wastewater. This difficult task of entering every property for the connection requires the full cooperation of the citizens. The citizens must understand the importance of this project in saving our city's environment. For residential houses, wastewater is collected by pipes within the property and discharged into a 900 mm wide inspection chamber, which is situated next to the boundary fence. From the inspection chamber, it is connected to the public sewer. Within the property, the sewer is 100 mm diameter underground UPVC pipe with rodding access chambers. Where space is limited, a small pump may be installed to channel the wastewater above ground to the public sewer via a 75 mm diameter UPVC pipe. Then the existing septic tank will be decommissioned, disinfected and backfilled. For large institutions and commercial complexes, wastewater from toilets, bathrooms, kitchens and wash basins is collected into a series of 900 mm wide inspection chambers located at the perimeter of the buildings or complexes using 100 mm to 225 mm diameter underground UPVC pipes. It is then connected to the public sewer. For those properties with an existing underground private wastewater treatment plant, a pump system may be installed to bring the wastewater to the ground level and channel it to the public sewer. The existing treatment facility will be decommissioned and disinfected. These property connection works must be carefully carried out with the full cooperation of the owners. The affected areas will be promptly reinstated. The Kuching City Wastewater Management System is a capital-intensive undertaking. It will take time to be fully implemented. The first package covers only a small portion of the city. Nevertheless, this is a crucial step in our journey to rehabilitate the water quality of the Sarawak River. We hope the river will eventually be able to offer a safe and aesthetically pleasant environment for the people, on par with rivers in other modern cities.